Try to do a press with a twist. Okay. Starting in. Yes. Bird to fold and leaf. Boom. Down to here. Okay. We're gonna spin this way today. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is guide your flyer arms to grab the back of their knee. And then you're gonna start pushing up. Okay, here's the fall, okay? When you push weight up this way, her body weight starts to come over where her head goes, okay? And when you're falling this way, she is bound, way dangerous, okay? So what you wanna do is, if she's falling that way, to base spot this, to react to it, I would, if you're falling this way, I would immediately, um, what would I do in this situation? I could take this foot away, have her drop on me like that. That's one way. Um, gosh, no guts, no glitter. Good shirt. Okay, so. <laughs> Here. No, it's glitter guts. Glitter guts. <laughs> so if she's falling this way, it's very hard for you to bring her back this midline. Yeah. It's all the weight's coming over this way already. I would try to at least keep her torso up as much as possible. Okay. And her feet would come down first, but but this part here, like keeping that up, is a muscle that's really hard to do too, you know. Okay. So I think in Pratsarita twist, it's going to be primarily the flyer's responsibility to brace her fall. There's very little the base can do here. Okay, so we'll we'll first do this with a spotter first. Let's teach how you would fall on this as a flyer. If you're coming over here and come over this way, and you're falling out and you're bound. Go ahead and bind your arms. Mm -hmm. Unbind as soon as you can and brace that ground, okay? Arms on the ground. It's not a high fall, but you'll be able to grunt some of it. Yeah. I think you could fall on your shoulder too, but that could so, yeah, hurt I a lot. Yeah, I think like bracing here, as long as the wrist isn't mm -hmm. coming down long, yeah. I think it would, that would probably be... Yeah, but still that's, that's, that's yeah, enough, that makes sense. that's enough kind of like weight to hurt your wrist. Yeah. yeah. So okay. like one of, one of the most fundamental, uh, fundamental skills in acro for flyers to be able to do a, a handstand. If you can't do a clean handstand, do it against the wall. If you can't even do it against the wall just yet, then do a drape your body over a bed, yeah. or at least do bridges on the ground like this. You need to be able to work that strength in your wrists and in your arms and in your shoulders to be able to brace a fall like that to uh, absorb that weight and, and fall well, okay? So now let's break down what we can do to make Pratsarita twist work. I guide it. Sometimes the flyer will do this. They'll go, they'll go um, like through the legs like that. You need to go in front of the legs there. That's the only way the body will twist. Once she's here, watch my foot. All the weight's on my my left foot here. I'm bending my right knee to drop her hip this way, so her body's starting to turn. I push her shoulder up. Watch you. I'm not pushing on the on the shoulder here. I'm actually pushing on the back. I mean, on the back it needs to go straight up. Ideally, her, her back should be horizontal with the ground. If it's vertical like this, you haven't pushed up enough. If your arms bent, it will not work. You've got to lock that baby out so that you have enough strength there to support her weight there. Okay? Once I push on her shoulder, she can actually slide her hand more towards her calf and her ankle like that. That makes it even more easy to balance, I think. Go ahead and go back to the knees, Alexis, and see what feels easier. I feel like grabbing the leg there even further towards the ankle, I feel like it, it balances the weight better. It always feels more secure to me to go back. Uh -huh. yeah. So once you say, remember, she still falls, she'll unbind and you'll try to keep her as high as possible. And then she'll brace her fall over here, okay? I drop this hip here. Let's just first do this. First learn how to balance this, meaning this hip here and these arms on her upper uh, back here, shoulder blade area, like that, and learning how to balance without this foot like this. Okay. Just learn how to do that first until you figure out the feet placement, okay? Once you get this solid from here, watch what she does with the arm. I like how she's doing this here. Instead of bringing it over here, all the weights drops over here, she's balancing out by dropping this arm here. I'm keeping this up. Now the foot, this is always very awkward. How do you get the feet going, okay? Watch this foot here. I can slowly, once this is balanced, once I find this balance, then I can put this foot on this hip and learn how to take this foot off. Learn that balance too. It's about being able to balance two points, shoulders and hip, like that. And then from there, you have to take the whole foot off, guide it along her hip, trace it, toes in, bring this heel on top of this foot, replace it. Once you get that, this foot traces along the back here. It goes around the hip, toes in, not out here, in as tucked as you can. 
And once she's here, the flyer has to pat straddle pikes really deep to create that shelf. That's the most common mistake I see is the flyers will keep their legs too I high. I used to put them like, whoo. Oh, so you pike and really engage those hips, bring it low, and it makes it really easy for your base to be able to balance you there, okay? Um, so let's first, we'll go back to forward leaf. Let's talk about that skill, figuring out how to balance that first. Forward leaf through. She grabs the back of the knee, pushing this up. This won't be enough. I've got to lock my arms up, lock them out. Once I'm there, then find this balance first. If you feel solid there, then slowly figure out how to take this foot away. It won't work if this leg is straight, right? I bent this right leg so the opposite, one arm is straight. The reason why I bend it is basically I'm trying to create a horizontal plane with her body. And my legs are long, so I've got to bend them to meet where my arms are. So now I'm more kind of leveled. Can we take this off? Just do that first. Take this off. Okay. Yeah. Good